So today we are comparing the Aware 2 software on the left with the original Aware software on the right. So the main difference is you see on the screen at the minute is a graphical change to the, uh, the buttons on the bottom but otherwise they have uh, similar functions with uh, addition of a scale bar on the Aware 2, still got your relative position to airfield and a rough lat long uh, of your, your current position. Uh, the airspace warning again very similar but a, a slight aesthetic change there. So the main change that you notice with using the Aware 2 software are the, the speed of panning and uh, zooming on the map. So there are a couple of couple of movements and we're over, over uh, Bristol and then down into Devon. Uh, again, zooming in and zooming out on the chart, there's only a couple of seconds delay there and you can zoom out and it still remains quite responsive even at quite large zoom levels. So on the on the original Aware software, that would be rather than dragging to pan, tapping, and again, that's just coming down to Bristol now. So taking a, a lot, lot longer to cover the distance and zooming in and out, becoming a bit less responsive as you load up more of the chart. So further changes on the Aware 2 software is the context menu. On both. So you can see uh, obviously quite a, a marked graphical difference. Um, we've still got uh, navigate here and insert waypoint on the new software. You can also add in points of interest if you've got farm strips or uh, other places you want to add in that are particular to you. Uh, you can view the route you've had in. You can also change if you've got multiple chart types, 500k and 250 you can you can choose when you want to see those as opposed to the the automatic uh, system on the original software uh, that would also for if, if you've got uh, french charts as well then you can choose when you want to so uh, we're going to run through a tutorial on the aware 2 software and this is for an aware plus running the the new software so here we have the disclaimer screen if you scroll that text down you'll find your version number of the software where currently uh, that is the current is the, the latest version. So on the button there you've got a list of the additions of your installed charts and on the disclaimer screen back arrow takes So on the map screen uh, we've got uh, the normal buttons uh, zoom, zooming in and out, moving through the various legs of a route and the centre on aircraft. You can see because we're near this microlight site we're getting a warning of airspace in the top right corner. If we want to declutter the screen and press the there to declutter and then bring them all back again. So panning, drag to pan, so generally using your tip of your nail on the screen, scroll by buttons, zooming in and out. So if you were uh, main advantage obviously with the Aware Plus ability to put in roots on the unit, so if we press and hold on the screen. So then we've got the, the context menu. So there's quite a lot of quite a few options here so we can navigate directly to the point insert a waypoint. Uh, if we'd selected another point we could delete it but we're going to just go for navigate here and there you can see it's drawn in the route for us and that'll give lost house some information uh, regarding bearing uh, now for that, for that route. If you select an airfield as one of your as a waypoint, you also get the extended runway uh, centre line come up with the, the runway directions. And when you've got two more than uh, more than one, you've got two two legs to route. You can cycle through that information with the buttons here. So pressing again somewhere on the screen to bring up the context menu. We've got change map. So if you've got the 500k vector charts, maybe uh, French charts or UK uh, 250k scale, you can switch between those as you wish. When you have a route in, you can press the review, uh, view route button to, uh, to get uh, distance bearings uh, information. You can also load and save that, you can reverse that, or you can choose to clear it as well. And the arrow there takes you back to the map.
you can add a, a point of interest, so uh, with a, a name, custom name. So if that's any farm strips you want to add or specific locations, you can add a, a user waypoint using that option on the menu. There's also a demo mode, so you can use this to, to get an idea of how your unit uh, will behave when, when you fly with it. So you can see you've got the, the five minute line extending uh, as a vector from the, the aircraft and that's graduated in one minute intervals. Um, you, can, uh, you can change here with the buttons the, the track and the bearing information, speed and altitude. So you can see there we've got the, the Bryce uh, zone highlighted and we've got a, a warning there as well. If you require a, a written manual then if you look at the website airspaceaware.com under support there is a, a page there for the, the new AWARE software and uh, that can be downloaded and uh, viewed at any time.